guys, what's up? Hello, if you're new here, my name is Jade. Definitely make sure you are subscribed. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is early in the morning. It is a Saturday. I post on Sundays and Tuesdays and I haven't filmed Sunday's video yet. So that means that I have to film today and I thought it'd be a perfect time to bring you guys on like a behind the scenes of a productive day in the life of a small influencer. You guys really love these small influencer vlogs that I've been doing here on my channel. And I wanna continue to give you guys content that you really love. So today we're gonna be doing a productive day in the life of a small influencer if you haven't guessed. So also, I wanted to take the time out to say thank you to today's sponsor, Dossier. You guys know I love them so much. I have been working with them for the last couple months, and it's a dream come true. They're so sweet. I love their brand. I love their fragrances. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but I do have two new fragrances to share with you guys. So on today's agenda, we are filming an IG reel. I have to do my hair, my makeup, I need to make my bed, I need to pull out all of the outfits, set up for filming, and then film and edit this vlog and also edit the IG reel so I can post that over on my Instagram. I have not been posting on Instagram. I've been completely neglecting my Instagram and it's time to come out of that. So I'm gonna be working a lot today. Today is Saturday and tomorrow is Sunday. So I kind of have to get everything done before 10 a.m. tomorrow morning because I normally post here on YouTube at 10.30 a.m. on Sundays and Tuesdays. So I don't have that much time and I have a lot of stuff I need to get done. Hopefully you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and let's Get into it. I'm tired, but it's okay. We'll be fine. So here's my little makeup station. I organize my makeup in the order that I use it so that it's easy so that it's easy for me to navigate through and I don't have to keep stopping. I have my brushes and tools and then my mirror. I'm gonna set you guys up over here somewhere so that you can watch me do my makeup. So let's get into it.
guys so I just got done getting ready I went ahead and took my hair out of the braids I love doing like overnight curls because all you have to do is dampen your hair a little bit braid it and let it air dry and then you wake up the next day and you have these really pretty nice waves so I would highly recommend doing that because it just makes doing your hair in the morning so easy did my makeup it came out actually kind of good today so I feel good about that I told you guys earlier that this video is in partnership with Dosky and I'm really excited because I got two new fragrances that I'm really excited to try so let me show you guys what the fragrances are so up first we have the first fragrance and this is woody fuchsia this is inspired by Armani C perfume and I love that dossier always gives you these little information cards to let you know what the fragrance is inspired by the notes in the fragrance I think this is super helpful if you're just getting into perfumes and fragrances you need to know what notes you like to know what smells good with your body type so so I think this is super helpful having these little information cards the next scent that I got is fruity jasmine and this is inspired by Dior the Jador perfume and that is like an iconic scent it's an iconic fragrance and it is inspired by Jador so for those of you who are unaware what Dossier does or who they are, they are a luxury inspired fragrance brand that has fragrances inspired by some of your favorite luxury brands like Gucci, Dior, Armani, Jo Malone. They have something for everyone and their fragrances smell so good and the longevity is unbelievable. So I picked up Woody Freesha and I'm really excited. So ooh, this smells really good and this is inspired by Armani C perfume so I want to spray just a little bit just to like, get a whiff that's so so pretty mmm I want to wear this one <laughs> I haven't even tried the other one but I know I want to wear this one this has like a really soft sweet ambery kind of woodsy oud smell to it this is a definitely a really sexy perfume I would love to wear this like for a date night dinner date it's just like it gives night time to me but it smells really really good and then fruity jasmine is inspired by Dior's Jador perfume this this fragrance the fruity jasmine this is what the packaging looks like. I didn't show you guys, but this is Fruity Jasmine. And then this is Woodsy or Woody Freesha. And it the packaging, just super simple, simplistic, straight to the point. Great for decor if you have like a minimalist type vibe going on. Kind of like myself. I don't like anything that's too colorful, too bright, too flashy. I love that this is super simple packaging so it will go with my decor. I can leave them out. And when I see my perfumes, I'm more prone to like grab them just for the smallest things and just spray them throughout the day because I can see them they're in sight so they're on my mind this fruity jasmine when I tell you it smells so soft and feminine like it's not super fruity or like florally but it just has like a feminine touch it's so soft and so gorgeous this is like an anytime type of scent to me you could wear this any time of day and it would just be a vibe I should wear this today so today I'm gonna just go ahead and spray on fruity jasmine it smells really good and I'm ready for the day fragrances have a way of just making you feel elegant and sexy and fun and confident and that is what I'm all about anything that boosts up my confidence and makes me feel good about myself how could I refuse and how could I say no so huge thank you to Dosia for sponsoring this portion of today's video thanks guys and let's hop back into the rest of the video so I live on such a busy street I tell you guys this in every single video I was gonna film like a trial and haul really quick but I don't really feel it so I'm gonna show you a video that I started working on actually this morning it was gonna be for another uh, IG real idea that I had but I was like you know what? let me just go ahead and let me just ride with it and see what happens. So let's go to Reels. What do you do on those days that you don't feel that confident or fearless or powerful like you did out there? What do you okay. do on those days that you don't So feel let me tell you the vision that I have for that vid this Reel. So it's an interview with Rihanna. So basically you, the trend is you start off and you look kind of bummy or really bummy. And then you transition into looking all glammed up and done up. And basically that's the vibe. So... The audio is, so that's the second part of the video. Yeah. I mean, why not? It's either that or crying myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? Okay, so I need to transition into saying that part. So I'm going to practice it a few times. I literally just go over it until I can memorize what the reel says. So my lips can be in sync with the audio of the clip. 
I'm not a huge real girl. Um, I'm still learning. Reels are hard. Instagram and social media is tough. So I just kind of like do trial and error and see what works. And then if something works and comes out good, then it does. And if it doesn't, we keep trying. Let me show you guys my setup. <laughs> I'm gonna just use this little filter. That's me. You guys are in my window. Okay, so now that I've done that, I have to listen to this audio and practice it and practice it and practice it so that I can get my lips to sync to the audio so it, it matches, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna sit here for as long as it takes until I can get the audio down and then... to sleep who wants to do that all right so that is how i film my reels so that is like my first reel in like the last i haven't posted on instagram in like maybe like a month or two if not more that's it i'm not really good at reels i'm still learning so i just wanted to show you guys like what i do to get content i've been trying to get back into posting on instagram uploading on instagram in reels is a really fast way i hear to grow on instagram is doing reels and doing little like videos and stuff so i am actually probably going to post this now and just see what happens if it does well it does well if it doesn't it doesn't i am starting to like not focus so much on it's so loud outside so i'm starting to not focus so much on like the views the numbers the followers blah, 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 like all the logistics of like a reel or like growth or numbers because sometimes it can make you feel defeated when you don't reach the goal that you think you should reach and yeah so i don't want to worry about it so i'm going to just post this and see what happens so now i am just picking a thumbnail that i want to use for the cover of the video i'm not really sure i'm not good at this this is just like trial and error because i haven't posted in such a long time like what do the kids want to see for a thumbnail Okay guys, so the video is up, here it is. What do you do on those days that you don't feel that confident or fearless or powerful like you did out there? Uh, pretend. Fake it? Yeah. Until we make it? I mean, why not? It's either that or cry myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? I just want to take you guys on like a mini behind the scenes or like a productive day in the life of a small influencer little vlog. But I just showed you guys the basics of what it is I do. So if you guys want to see like a more in-depth video on how I film my YouTube videos, then definitely leave it in the comments down below and I will get that up for you guys. So, so I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.